Hello guys and uh, welcome to another part in my DIY analog synthesizer uh, basics tutorial. I'm going to try and split this um, particular subject into quite a few videos so that I don't kind of rush things and miss important things out as much as I can. And um, what I'm going to go through in this video is a kind of introduction in how to try and put together a Arduino MIDI to CV and gate um, circuit to use with your analog synthesizer or you could even use it to, to sort of power any sort of kind of modular gear as well to be honest with you CV and gate is quite a universal uh, type of communic electrical voltage communication anyway so for those that who have sort of come this far you kind of know what I'm talking about so I won't go too in depth into that because that's not what this video is about and uh, just if you just have a look here, here's a list of um, things that you're going to need. Uh, first of all, you're going to need the Ardu to uh, download the Arduino software uh, for either the PC or the Mac. And you're going to need a USB cable that looks like this on one side. And then it connects to the Arduino like this on the other side. Now if we look here on my little um, board here. You can see I have an Arduino, which is supposed to be an Arduino R3, but what I got sent was something which is apparently it's not a real copy, but it worked, funnily enough, unbeknown to me. And I sort of thought, oh yeah, game on, cool. I'll go with that. So there it is, and it didn't cost me very much money, to be honest with you. You can either go out and buy a genuine one, you can go and buy one of these uh, cheap sort of um, copy versions. It works, so to be honest with you, it's not going to make a difference. So, and uh, we're just going to need some parts. For example, you're going to need this, which I sort of salvaged from an old keyboard that I broke, which is a MIDI DIN jack. And we see we have all the pins there. We need to make sure we use some kind of continuity tester to test our pins, make sure we are in the right place. So we put one, one, one lead into one of the pins and put one of the leads on one of the pins here to make sure we can identify pins one to five. Uh, we don't actually use very many, many pins, and in fact we only use two pins when we, we, we're doing this for MIDI in, because we're not doing MIDI out as well. I'm just going to try and cover the MIDI in. And I'm not saying this is the only way you can build uh, this type of um, circuit. This is the way I'm trying to show you is how I did it, not anybody else's methods or somebody says, oh, well, yeah, you can do this as... I'm just trying to show you what I've done personally and what's worked for me. Um, so what we have is a couple of ICs here. And one is, if we look on this uh, list here, is it's the DAC, which is over here, which is a MC, MCP4921, which is a 12-bit DAC. I've also got over here an optocoupler or opto-isolator, which is basically an IC which has got... Um, transistors inside it and some kind of LEDs which if, anyway can't go again won't go too technical with that because I don't know too much about it myself to be honest with you uh, so we need the opto coupler stroke isolator and you can either use a single or dual op amp now what we use the single or dual op amp for is it's to build a make a small reference or we can make a fixed reference voltage or a variable reference voltage because what I found was the actual Arduino wasn't actually outputting 5 volts as I needed um, so what we need is 5 volt for a 5 volt key range but also can we please note with this um, particular DAC it might have just been the, the sketch that I use this wasn't my sketch I, I got this from somebody on um, there was a guy who had a friend of Muff Wiggler who built this and I thought well, it looks very simple it's the first sort of circuit I tried so I gave it a try and it, it, a bit of struggle but it, I got it working anyway so I've kind of stuck with it and I've kind of tried to sort of um, try and figure out how I can kind of adapt it to make it a bit uh, work better so there's a few things that I sort of deviated on like for instance not using the actual um, Arduino's outputting um, what's the word 
voltage, which was like I said, it's about 4.7 something, wasn't actually giving me back on 5 volts, which completely skewed all my CV out voltages. So the control voltage, CV out, which will go to your synthesizer to control the pitch, and the gate out, which will come from one of these pins, will actually trigger your envelope generators. The only other problem I found with this was over using the, what well, I'm using the mini brew now, CV out. CV and gate out capabilities was it wasn't holding pitch so if anybody out there knows who's watching this video who knows the possible reason why that was happening um, please leave a comment and enlighten me so I can try and maybe give this a bit of a um, freshen up and 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 deal with that issue so yeah so like I said so basically my problem was happening was it was triggering the note but it wasn't holding after the actual envelope um, stages had died off, it was falling down to another note or or down to its um, some kind of preset, the initial frequency preset value of the um, oscillator. Now, if we just have a quick look at all the other bits we're going to need, you're going to need some kind of you're going to need a MIDI jack. So we have, I can't remember what this is. This is yeah, this is the male, male and male. Um, MIDI jacks, which will go to the female of the MIDI out of your MIDI out keyboard. You can use absolutely any MIDI out controller. Uh, you must set it to channel one, I think, to get this set up. So what we'll do is we'll have our MIDI and then we'll plug that into here. We'll just plug this into here and then we'll plug the other side into our MIDI controller keyboard or any kind of a MIDI keyboard, which is MIDI out capability. Um, and here's a few other bits. We're going to need one one four one four eight diode, which goes here on the opto coupler between pins two and three, and we're also going to need a shock key diode, which I use to um, buffer the gate out. So, what happens is when our gate comes in, our gate voltage comes in. I'll just call this GV. It will go into our shock key diode before we send that into the actual gate input and it kind of acts as a protection because what I found was a couple of times I think it's it will actually stop any kind of negative voltages voltages coming back because what I found was I, I, I literally destroyed about two or three um, Arduinos by doing this and so I had to get a couple more. This is like third time around on this one. Also, you're going to need some kind of uh, way to mount the circuit together. I've got mini breadboards here, which somebody gave me. Uh, these mini breadboards here, they sit nicely. I'll just kind of mount it on this little uh, rudimentary bit of wood here. It sits alongside. You can use a bigger breadboard if you want. You can even go straight to a, pre a pref board or a vero board if you're feeling adventurous. And some kind of cable. This is all this is basically a stripped down um, strands of solid strand you need, Cat5 cable, which is so much cheaper than jump wire. And it's exactly the same thing, it's copper. Like, you know, you do the maths, you can get this for, say, I don't know, if, if we're talking in British pounds, about £1.30 a metre. As you buy sort of a pack of jumper cables, you don't get really get much for it. And you get within each core or each part of each metre of that, you get eight different paired colours. So, that would be one meter, say one meter times that. So you're actually getting eight meters of each, you know, each stranded cable. I'd go for that personally. Um, so yeah, so so if we just have a quick look down the list, and that yeah, and we're just going to need a 220 ohm resistor, not 220k, 220 ohm resistor. And so I'm putting down the jumper cable there, MIDI jack socket, five pin um, MIDI cable, male to male. And we're also going to need the single or dual op amp for, which is to make our reference voltage. Now, how I built the reference voltage was like so. So this is, as we know, it's our funky triangles. This is our operational amplifier. We have our non-inverting input, inverting input, and our output. So what we need to do basically is take a loop round. Let me just give these a number. Uh, so say pin three, pin two, pin one. So what we'll do is, and obviously we're going to have the power rails 
pin if we're using most of these these ICs, the jaw up amps, pin four will be eight will be plus voltage and four will be four will be ground in this case. And what I would we would use for this one, I'm going to use an LM358, which is a low power um, operational amplifier. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to take a resistor and then we can say we can say about 100k and then we're going to take that to the plus plus voltage 100k and now we're going to try and get as close to oh, as close to 100k as possible and take this down to ground but what I did was so the closest I could get in sort of um, uh, resistor values was 56k plus 56k however our first 56k what we'll do we'll bung that in there and then what we will do we will take this into a trimmer So one side of the trimmer will go into one side of the trimmer. Well, that could be about 50k, yeah. So the trimmer is going to be about 50k, and then we'll take that to ground. So we've got two, we've got one resistor in series and one trimmer, 50, 50, 50k trimmer, and then we'll take that to ground. And now what that does, that allows us to vary the voltage which comes out of here. So that will divide the voltage. So say we're using. We're on a 12 volt, um, a 12 volt power supply or bipolar 12, 12 volts minus and plus. It should give us about six volts at the output. And by varying this um, potential, uh, this trimmer here, we should be able to vary our reference voltage out. So we can have anything say between, we can get it down to about, I think we, it, it all depends on your resistors here on the voltage divider. Depend, it, it will be dependent on how um, the voltage valley that you can swing plus or you know to from pl plus voltage to ground so we can kind of set this accurately because we may find that well, actually we need about 5.33 volts um, I know that was a value that was used by Roland for doing the the 303 and things like that uh, for the for the note scaling so we can kind of adjust this to taste rather than being fixed like I said the Arduino is 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 it's pretty useless for its four point whatever um, voltage that it gives us so yeah so we just use this op amp here for our reference voltage anyway I'm gonna uh, wrap this video up and come back um, soon with uh, try and do my best to drop a schematic I'll also try and post a link you may have to uh, become a member of the site and try and log in before you can actually try and grab this the uh, actual files for this um, yeah I will try and do what I can to put in the uh, description. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will be back uh, very soon. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments. And subscribe and keep your eyes open. More in the future. Alright, easy does it.